Good evening, everybody. I have an idea to do a ghost swipe, but I think I want to start with a black canvas. And I noticed last time that I did a ghost swipe that I had my canvas paint it with a color before I did my swipe instead of being white. Um, I did one that was a blue that I started to get some separation as I was swiping that I could start to see too many thin areas in the canvas below. So I'm going to start by just painting this one black and let it set up. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to come back and do the actual swipe to where I will cover my canvas again in black. So I'm just going to give it a super light skim coat tonight. Let that set up. My black is an apple barrel black. This one is mixed today with Floetrol and maybe just a tiny bit of water to get the consistency that I want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cover my canvas with that and then let it set up. Come back in the morning and give it another fresh coat so it's wet and then put my colors that I would like to do my swipe with. So here we go. I really love how feathery these uh, swipes come out. I'm really a fan of it lately. It's just something new I've been playing with that I've seen on the internet. Um, I don't even remember where the first one was that I have seen. It might have been by Pouring Your Heart Out. Um, she's got some great videos, so look her up. Um, and I think once she, I don't know if she's the one that originated it, um, it's just another technique of swiping. So they just call it a ghost swipe because it looks like a feathery ghost as you go up. Um, you know, not that somebody actually originated that style, but uh, it kind of took off because hers were so beautiful. And it made everybody else kind of want to try that same new technique. Um, there's all kinds of different swipes that you can do. You can use different applications and tools to swipe with and you can swipe in all directions um, just you know like with the bloom kiss all the different techniques with that I mean there's all kinds of ways you can embellish your paint pours just to make it fun unique for yourself and I just get so much pleasure and joy out of doing these paint pours and swipes and flip cups you name it it's definitely been my passion and the more color the better for me um, I see people do some muted ones and they're just beautiful I just I'm always one to usually put a lot of color in for pop it's just the nature of my style but okay we've got a skim coat on there and I'm gonna kind of just go around with my finger and get the sides coated this does not have to be perfect it will self level and I'm like I said I'm just wanting the canvas to be coated um, if I had a black canvas this size I would use it and then just cover it with black paint and do my swipe straight from there but um, since it's not and I really want to go with the black background I'm giving this a coat so it can set up and then I'll put a wet coat on top when I do my swipe. That way I'm just ensuring that I'm not going to have any blank spots or peekaboo of some white showing through my canvas that I really am not looking for. So if you like these type of videos, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell and you'll get notifications of when I post a new one. Um, I post as often as I can. I've been a little bit busy lately. I've got a brand new granddaughter, my first grandchild ever. Her name is Ayla and she's beautiful. And I'm trying to spend as much time with her as I can. And I've been busy down at a new gallery that opened up here in St. Charles, Missouri. It's uh, Missouri Artists on Main Gallery 2 on the streets of St. Charles. And my work is in there, and I'm also volunteering my time to work in the gallery as well, a few hours here and there a week. So just got a lot going on. It's been very busy and very exciting. All right, we've got a good skim coat. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect, like I said. It, you know, it will self-level as it sits here. So we'll let that set up, and we'll come back in the morning 
I'll probably go to bed dreaming of what color compositions I want to do and I'll probably change my mind a million times but anyway I'll see you in the morning and we'll take it from there all right good morning I'm back and um, my coat that I put on here is dry so I'm gonna go ahead and now give it another coat so I want my surface to be wet when I'm working and doing this swipe and I'm still a little unsure about my color palette because I must have changed my mind 10 times last night as I was trying to fall asleep so we'll just see what we end up going with so to save time on the video I'm gonna pause this real quick so I can get this coated and be right back okay I have that covered and now I'm going to apply my colors I know I want some gold Possibly some rose gold, but I'm not sure on that one yet. Um, actually, maybe some copper would be really pretty, but that I will have to mix. Okay, I mixed up some copper. I think I definitely want some copper in this. I'm gonna do some gold, and I'm going to do some bright aqua green. And I think we're just gonna start with those and see what happens here. this is stirred up real good the metallics sometimes are a bit thicker when you go to mix them they take a little bit more um, water sometimes to thin them out and the copper that I'm using is by artist loft I mixed it with just a little bit of pouring medium and more water than anything actually it was just a couple drops of the medium because i mixed just a tiny bit this is maybe not even an ounce so let's start from this end i'm all over the place today <laughs> such a pretty color that copper is and then we're gonna go in with some of the aqua I thought about some phthalo green too but I'm not sure on that if I want to do that or not I think I can always add in a little bit after I swipe just in some areas if I want to and then we're gonna come in with the gold Do a little heavier with the gold. Okay. We're going to start swiping with just that and see what we get. So, as always, I use these little freebie cards you can get at Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever they sell paint. And we're just going to lay it down and in half of the paint and kind of pull our way forward. It's pretty. Always wipe your card off in between your swipes or you will be muddying up the colors and once they start to curl a bit on me this one's about done I think this would be my last swipe with this card I switch them out to a new one I don't know why I wiped it off because I'm not using it again <laughs> so
some pretty colors though. And I always, when I get to this section, I always like to stand up. I feel like I'll start pulling my card kind of cattywampus. I like the color combo with the black. It's pretty cool. I'm starting to get some really neat cells too. And I'm really not sure why. Um, I think my only color that has any OGX in it is my aqua green. I want some more in here. Turn it around. See, I got a little blank spot there, my so I'm gonna swipe that one again. And I think I'm gonna put just a teeny bit more gold right there to help me encourage that down. And anywhere that you get some spots that you don't really like in the black, you can just add some black back and fix those spots if you're not happy with them. I'm going to come in with a smaller card and do some little wispies. I think my um, aqua green is a little thicker than my gold and my copper and it's kind of making a difference so your consistency of your paint should definitely be as close to the same as possible because I'm getting some drag marks because of that but We're all learning together. So pretty though. Those colors are really nice. Very Southwest. I feel like I'm starting to lose some of my copper down on this end though. I've got a little bit more green going on on this end. So I'm going to give it a little bit more gold in here. Add another swipe. Nah, I think I will come in with a smaller card now and do some little wispies. I 
and where my paint ran over on the sides just when I was pouring it on, I'm actually just going to take that off so that my sides remain nice and black and I can touch it up with some more black paint. Make that look real clean and crisp. Because it doesn't have the feathered effect as the top does. It's just, just a line of paint running down on the side. So I prefer to clean that up. All right, so I'm gonna go get my scissors and cut a smaller card and do some swipes that are smaller. I'm just gonna cut a round piece, tinier one. I'm gonna come in and just embellish here and there wherever I think I want a little bit more. I think I want some more gold down here. My gold's almost empty. areas that looks cool I have a lot more green down at this end. So, Maybe a little bit more copper too. Right in here. Sorry, I get kind of quiet when I start thinking about my composition. Um, I hope y'all try this out there and enjoy painting. I know I have a lot of fun with with it for sure. Kind of stand back and take a look and I think I want my metallics to be a little heavier on the end of this end. So it kind of balances this side out. Yeah, I like those colors together though. Pretty. I don't know if I want more of that. 
Maybe just a drop of this. And a drop of gold. I'm going to touch up wherever I see I want to soften it with black. And just use your finger even, a gentle touch. I'll take some of that off. You can cover up any hard lines that you see if there's something that you're not liking. Like right here, I'd like to feather that out and fix that. I kind of had like a harsh edge. I'd like to soften that up. There we go. And it should self-level itself still, so. And I think over here, I'd like to do the same right in here. Soften that. That's soft. And then over here, I think I'm going to do the same. Right in here. Soften that up. Turn it around, look at it again. Black is very forgiving. Much easier to cover up any wispy lines that you want to get rid of. Just kind of go in there and clean it up a little bit. Take out whatever you don't really like. And I like it all, don't get me wrong. But I just want it to have a little bit cleaner edges there on my wispies. Okay, I'm going to take my heat gun to it. See if we can get any cell action going on. thing is maybe just a little softening right there in the center. This end has a lot more gold. I think I want just a little bit more gold in here. Over here I have a little bit of kind of like broken line. Let's soften it up with some of that gold. It's just there's so much more gold over the green here and I want to balance it out. It's kind of 
drag a little bit of it through. Just a very light touch, too. composition is yours. Own it. <laughs> Just go in there and do what you want. If you don't have enough of one color somewhere, put it there. Right here. I got a little too much black. So I'm going to come in there with, I think, a little bit more gold that keeps it soft. Just kind of manipulate it into what you want. See how that softened it up? Instead of having like this harsh break of black. And I think I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave it to dry and I'll bring you in for a close up real quick. Hope not to make you dizzy. The metallics is just gorgeous. But I will show you the finished product when it dries. And this is what I meant about the edges. If your paint runs down here on the side, which I've cleaned it up pretty much, but um, you could just kind of take that off and then cover it with black later on so yeah i will come back and show you the dry product thanks for watching please subscribe hit the like button and uh hit the notification bell and you'll get notifications of my next video and this is the finished painting i have coated it with three coats of the deco art duraclear gloss varnish really makes those colors pop. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a try and you all have a good day. See you on my next video.